Hello, my fellow adventurers. This is Maluncha. Hey, welcome back to New World. The new update is live, and the new update was kind of big. A lot of changes to the game. A lot of uh, bug fixes. A lot of a lot of weapon fixes. A lot of quest fixes. Main quest fixes where uh, certain quests, if you actually had them, that it might be possible that your main quest line is now out of your lock because you need to go pick it up again. Uh, there's, uh, yeah, been a lot of fixes. But we are basically going to talk about the new stuff that is in the game. Quickly going to go over it. I'm not going to in uh, indulge too fast. But, yeah, we got another addition. And that is the... Where the hell is it? Here it is. The Void Gauntlet actually made it to the game. The new weapon in the game is actually here. So if you look at weapons, Void Gauntlet. Uh, and you can make them in the Arcane Repository, of course, where you can make the Life Staff and the Ice Gauntlet as well. And then, uh, yeah, we got the, the Void Blade here. We got the Decay here. But we have a lot of weapons to still look at uh, before we actually probably gonna look at the Void Gauntlet. And then another big change trading posts all trading posts as you can see the locations right here right now they're all linked so every trading post now is linked together um i do believe if you sell something in everfall or if it stops in everfall the the loot would go to your chest in everfall or something like that uh and if you buy something in ever i sell something in everfall the um like the taxes are forever fall so if you buy something in for instance windsward that is being sold in everfall the taxes will go to everfall and not to windsward where you buy it so uh, yeah definitely a good change as well uh if you run on roads as you can see now in the bottom actually it's got like speed boost you see that those boots three seconds so when running on roads, you get a 10% increased speed now for running. It is disabled whenever you dodge or go into combat. Uh, and it is uh, not active in any PvP form. So the second you flag yourself for PvP, it's not it's no longer active, I do believe. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Uh, the PvP, like a war, the outpost rush, there it's not active. Uh, but yeah, the second you go into dodge or you get hit with any type of buff, uh, basically it gets disabled. If you dodge, it gets disabled. And you need to be running for 3 seconds before it actually increases. But this is really good. Running between settlements is now becoming a whole lot less uh, taxing. Usually you just like run in a straight line if possible, if there's not like mountains in between them. Because that's the shortest route. But now running across the uh, the pathways may actually be faster actually go from uh, tier to tier and then one of the biggest changes for me uh, life staff got a nuke across all like across all there is a boost to the if we look at the loadout menu so the uh, while wearing medium armor your dodge is quick hop and you deal 10% more bonus damage and you get 15% bonus healing so it was originally 10% uh, bonus healing it's now 15% and for the light armor, it is actually now a 30% increased bonus healing. Uh, but still, I don't believe that anybody's gonna wear light armor for the healing. Because basically, you're still gonna be a one-shot in any type of PvP. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 20% less healing across the board. Uh, the sacred ground one should give like a hundred percent um bonus to your stamina and your um your mana regen it's now only 50 percent so yeah life staff like i said it got a huge nerf um to, yeah it was too this was too powerful uh, it was basically too powerful and that's like the main oh yeah right there is a new enemy as well um there are knights i do believe and they should east 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 somewhere northeast or southeast or not really sure where <laughs> where they are but apparently there should be a quest line for them as well but i don't really see any new quest lines popping up at least not in oh wait tenacious rose 
Mysterious raiders have taken over the ruins of Stone Ark Reach Keep, where Abigail Rose was living. She asked you to help figure out who they are and why they are here and how she can get rid of them. So that's actually the starting quest for the new, uh, the new faction, uh, the new enemy types. And now that I think about it, I actually want to do that today. Because, um, we, yeah, we completed Everfall, and now it's not complete anymore. So, I kind of want to go to Everfall and see see the new faction. So, yeah, let's let's do that. I was kind of thinking, like, okay, let's uh, go over the updates, and then we'll basically continue our Cutlass Keys. But, yeah, Tenacious Rose. Yeah, let's go there. Let's go there. Let's fast travel, and let's get to see what this new faction looks like. The Knights, apparently, and uh, what this quest is all about. Miss Abigail, I heard you have an issue. Ah, oh, come on, no! They brought in a new quest line and they didn't even give it voices. Ah, uh, that's 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 just sad. That's really just sad. So, who are you? You have a dangerous look about you. If you think I'll be easy prey, you're sadly mistaken. Go ahead, make your move. Whoa, whoa, easy. You seem a bit jumpy. Out here, that's a critical trait. Lest you wind up corrupted or lost. And don't try to tell me a settlement would a settlement would be safer. I'll not be trusting my fate to some bumbling constable. So you're living out here instead? I'm I am. Or at least I was. To keep up the road, Stonereach was my home until these swine loving soldiers showed up. Well, I kind of like them already. <laughs> Bacon! Don't recognize their banners. I don't know who they are or why they're here. But I want them out. Anything I can do to help? A mercenary, are you? I knew it. Fine, go to the keep and learn what you can. Feel free to leave none alive. They got a camp to the west too. I'm heading to scout that, that out. Meet me there when you've dealt with these... These lo these louts loads, <laughs> and we get a warfare uh, satchel level four satchel actually. It seems to have been used to carry weapons. Okay, 150 azot. That's really generous. All right, let's accept the quest. And oh, look at that! The marker on our radar is back, so we're gonna go this direction. And uncharted landmark. Tenacious Rose defeat Vulgard Raiders. Search for orders from Atlas. Okay, yeah, let's use the rapier, else it's gonna be one shots, and I can't actually see what they're doing. But yeah, yellow, yellow and black stripes. And what do we need? Chests, most likely. What are you gonna do? Oh, you got a kick. Okay, he got a kick. So that's probably an interrupt. He's shooting with flame arrows. Interesting. Oh, got a chest here. Okay, so there's... Search for orders from Atlas. Oh, okay. A dark invocation. Okay. <laughs> Got an archer over here. Yo! Okay, so he's got a thrust. Double slash. But he's a one shot. And anything else here? Seem like it. Here. Oh, nice. Okay, so we got an axer. Oh, he's got a pull. Okay. All right, and he's got a swing as well. Nice. So he's basically got the abilities that we have as well. All right, that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's quickly check if we find any notes. In here. Here, I saw one inside. I know, I know. It was in the corner of my eye, I saw it too. Let's go in. Oh, 
a scout. We didn't actually go battle master. We fought that one. Yo. Got a big chest over here. Ah, damn it. I should have left that scout alive. We could have seen uh, what he actually does. Got some orders here. Orders from Atlas. Sir Ulfar, I gift you with orders and tidings of glory grim. You are hereby tasked to take Stone Reach Keep at all costs. Establish a base to stage further campaigns. Sir Rul uh, Rulaf is to remain at the beach camp to coordinate the arrivals of new forces. He is the key to this entire initiative. Though only he is entrusted with the finer points of this. I will arrive shortly. I expect a well garrisoned keep waiting. Failure is the only sin, and I will be your most devoted confessor on some soon marrow. Morrow? We are very lucky. We are his fists for the glory of Isnov Gorad. Uh, Gorod? Uh, for the glory of Isonov. Isnov Gorod. Okay, Lord Commander Atlas. What are you? Sir Ulfar the Wall. Okay. Buffs there. What else can you do? Shield slam. And a double hit. Let's bleed him. Twist him. And stab him. Hey, he's actually taking. For level 16, he's actually taking quite some damage. Okay, the scout. Scout is back. Hey, Mr. Scout, what can you do? Okay, a jab. Thrust. And a double swing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, later on, like higher levels of these guys. Uldwar's der for determ der determination. Holy crap, I really have issue reading today. And another archer. We got a note here as well. A matter of honor. Alright. And we're missing one note for this. And I, I kind of want to read them all. Screw it! Screw the notes! Uh, we need to go visit Porta Mars War Camp and confront the Raiders leader. Where the hell is that? Oh, it's actually... It's in Morag's Bluff. Okay. Okay, so it seems we're gonna need to defeat Sir Rulaf the Joyful. And so he's, he's kind of happy. Oh, it's actually an elite zone or what? Is it? I don't know. Another note here. Various Sunder. Let's add that one to the journal. Where is this? Yeah, they kind of crashed, <laughs> like everybody else kind of crashed. Yeah, it's probably up the mountain here somewhere. Yeah, 28 meters. Can I scale this? Let's go. Hop, hop, bunny hop. Bam! Slam with his axe, he says. Oh! And down you go. Draught of the Withered Essence. Got a giant supply stockpile. Always nice. And another scout. And another note. Alright. Uh, we need to head back. Oh, we don't need to head back. Just around the corner. How the hell do we get there? Ah, you dealt that laughing bastard a trashing. Well done. The wolves finally met a more vicious wolf. This doesn't mean I trust you, by the way. But I can't argue with the results. Did you learn why they are here? These orders have some clues. Hmm, let's see. Varangians? Huh? Never heard of them. Not much to work with here. But I didn't expect much anyway. Backup plan. I'll surround the keep with enough traps so those bastards will regret they ever came here. <laughs> Complete the quest. Ah, oh, seriously? Oh, that was kind of a short. I was kind of wondering if there were 
like other places on the map where they would have spawns like but yeah it seems they only came to two locations okay pretty pretty fast quest and what baggy did we get tier four how much encumbrance do you have 330 it's actually not bad merciless burn reduce the weight of weapons and ammunition and we gain azot you gain 3.8 percent more it's actually a pretty good bag for people who are leveling up and it's level 20 so it's a tier 4 for level 20s that's actually pretty good that's actually really good uh, but yeah i kind of don't have any use for it so what are we gonna do we are gonna head back to well what we are doing and that's cutlass keys and actually uh we have a fast travel. Well, we have uh, Monarch's Bluff right here around the corner. Uh, Shilly, we kind of had to abruptly stop yesterday. Let's talk. The settlement is starting to prosper. Thanks to your hard work. If only more members of Cutlass Keys were as useful, we'd have an affluent city in no time. So what else needs to be done? We could always use more items to sell. We'll ship that last batch of artifacts you collected to buyers in another settlement. And Mr. Heron's notes have come in handy. How so? His notes say Malokio's spire wasn't part of his excavation. It's ripe for the taking. Search his spire and bring back any interesting orbs. Alright. And yeah, look at that. Today, actually, it is working. The minimap. 1.6 kilometers. We are going to rubble shores and we're gonna fast travel that. Search ancient relics and investigate the top of Malacolio. Malacolio. Yeah, I have no idea. Malacolio. <laughs> Long sword. Ah, I see one of the relics in front of me. We basically want to look for statues that are holding them. Okay. They're downstairs. Is it downstairs? So let's first go down before we go up. See if we find any more of these statues. Wait, he's not dead yet. Got a chest here. Yeah. Yeah, where are these statues? Don't tell me they, they're they're going up and I'm Whoa! Okay. That's one way to go down. Oh, then Azoth for a kill. I won't complain. Seriously? Ah, look at that. Yeah, we definitely wanted to come down. There's like two here. Okay, that's one. Two more. He's down. And let's take this one. I think the last one is probably going to be... Can we take it? Come on, take it, take it! Yeah, I think the last one is probably gonna be up top. Right? We're not, no, no here. As far as I can see. Yeah, last one is gonna be up. But yeah, I'm glad I came down first. And I just realized that there is actually an entrance to the tower. I basically I came walking in here and I was like uh, I'm below the bridge and I need to be on top of the bridge I think you can actually like cross this water I think and actually go in through below so I didn't need to actually run all the way around okay good to know this way you guys don't make the same mistake as me la 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 <laughs> Almost where we started off, I think. 
And yeah, let's uh, head further up. Oh, I didn't realize that the have attack actually damaged two enemies at the same time. That's actually a big attack. Holy crap. It's the first time I use heavy on this one. For some reason, it does feel like after a heavy attack, your light attack is slower? Or is it just me? Some tomatoes and oranges. Nice. Probably nothing special for you guys, but... Oh, we got the last one here. Ancient relic. And we still need to investigate the top of the tower. Don't need to go further up. The lighting get glitch here, you see that? Dark light, dark light, dark light, dark light. <laughs> Funny. Die! And yeah, this is probably not the best way to farm my, uh, well, level my weapons. I don't really care how fast I do it. This is another way that works as well. Just a little slower. Well, a lot slower, actually. <laughs> yup! There we go. There we go. And is this the top already or... Oh, no, 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 there's one more. One more floor up, I think. And look at that. Taskmaster home. Oh, yeah, yeah boy, of course. Yeah, that was uh, really stupid. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Down he goes. And an ancient chest. And we need to go back and talk with Chili Duffy. Magnificent. What unusual artifacts. I have even heard there may be some in Reekwater who would be interested in purchasing them. Reekwater? Reekwater is another settlement filled with pirates. We occasionally trade with them. After all, we pirates need to stick together, and you're part particularly practically one of us now. <laughs> I'm still having issues reading today. All right, let's complete the quests. And yeah, no uh, achievement unlock Cutlesky's making headway. Did we complete a territory? Ah, okay. So, uh, reach territory standing of 5. Yeah, I was thinking, like, did we get a territory standing? So, Skull and Bones, 2 out of 3. Storm of Ancients, 2 out of 4. But she's not giving any. And she's not giving any either. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna wrap up this episode here, guys. Next episode, we're gonna need to... Or start looking at the other NPCs in this village. Or if I can actually find an elite run to join on, I'll probably join an elite run and we can look at some of the zones, which actually help you increase your watermark. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to wrap it up here. If you want to see more of my quest progression or my let's play here in New World, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.